What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chef Yarneezy, the Pimp Master. Hey, guys, let's look at what's going to happen for the week. First of all, hopefully you had a great weekend. I know I did. I was kicking it in Atlanta and um, had a really good time. But let's get back to the charts. So this week, let's look at the Dow Jones and what I believe the Dow Jones is going to do. So I called uh, a bear move on the Dow Jones uh, based on one of my strategies. And I called it off the one hour. Right. And I said, if price drops below this 50, it's coming down here to hit the 800 EMA. Well, I'm still looking for price to drop down to hit the 800 EMA. And hopefully it'll hit today. Right. Uh, on Sunday. So let's look at how many pips the market has to drop in order to achieve that. And it's not that many. So we're talking like 243 pips or so, right, um, before it hits the 800 EMA. Now, what has to happen afterwards, right? I don't know if it's going to be immediate, but what I do know is um, once price bounces here, if it goes down there immediately, it has to come back to close a gap that it left here. On my phone, it shows the gap, of course, on trading view is not showing the gap, but there is a gap of 30 pips and it's not that significant. So it might not come back right away to get it, but it did close the gap that it made today, right? Today, the market opened with a gap. Let's see if it's actually going to show it on trading view this time. Uh, No, it, yes. Well, yeah, here it is right here. Let me move the Fibonacci out the way. And if you notice here, this was where the market closed. This is where it opened. It was a little gap. It wasn't that big. Let's see how big was this gap. Five pips. Okay. So it immediately went back to close that gap. Boom. Then it ran down. Now it's trying to uh, make it to the 50, uh, where I believe price might shoot just above the 50 and then come back down to complete the, the uh, standard uh, bear move right before it goes into a bullish market. Um, now that's the Dow Jones. So for the rest of the week, let's go to the higher time frames because I cannot see it from the lower time frame. For the rest of the week, well, at least for the beginning of the week, I believe the Dow is going to sail down, hit the 200 EMA on the four hour chart, which is equivalent to the 800 EMA on the one hour chart. I then believe that price will bounce, pull back, come up here, close this little gap, quite possibly, if not, and then come down again and hit the 800 EMA on the four hour chart. Now, that's going to be over the course of at least a week and a half to two weeks, in my opinion, because let's look at Forest Factory to see if any news is coming out this week that is significant to make me change my mind. Let's see. All right. So December 9th, let's look at uh let's look at december 12th and see from there what the market's going to do so let's see gdp okay uh yeah uh nope uh 6 a.m gdp oh see, ooh, oh wait wait <laughs> tuesday oh my the cpi report is coming out guys on tuesday all right you already know that's an automatic Anywhere between 500 to 1,000 pip move on the Dow Jones. So let's look for that on Tuesday. All right. If, if the market is favorable, let's see what it looks like. I'm calling 1,000 pips. Okay. That's only. You know what? This might be the move right here. If it, if it, if it does a straight drop, which it has room in the, on the four-hour chart. The hour chart we're getting in the risque uh, area. Let's look at the 30 minute. 30 minute, uh, ooh, we are oversold on the 30 minute. Uh, we oversold on a 15, a little bit oversold on the five and not oversold on the one. So it looks like price is going to reduce and then reverse, go right back, go right back up. Probably to around 33,683. So what's that, about 100 and uh 50 pips or so away from where it is now uh shoot up just a little bit higher that means it should close 
that that's where the gap is so it may come back up here to close this gap i am not anticipating that right now but we know how the market can move um but based off the higher time frame with the cross that i saw especially here with this death cross here price has to hit the 800 so let's look for let's 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 say we're going to have a bullish bullish trend at least through tuesday uh, I think it's going to go back and forth on Tuesday, meaning it's going to uh, shoot down, pull up, shoot down. But the CPI report normally draws us a strong candle in one direction or the other. So if we get a strong bearish candle, count it that is going to shoot through. Let me let me draw this for you guys. Let's see if it's going to shoot through. The 50 is going to do this because it's already in that mode. That 200 is going to do this because it's already going there. 800 is going to cut across. Price should go something like this. Fool us a little bit and then come down again for the mad dash. That's what price could do on Tuesday. Um, so if that's the case, then look for uh, positions. Let's see where we at. Let me take this tool off. Look for a, a sell position right here in between these yellow lines, 506 and 121. Um, so I would take it down straight to the 800, 33,000. Now you got to check with your broker because I know with my broker is still off. The numbers are still off. Like, let me see. I am today, let's see how bad we are, 468, and on the one minute here, 468. Uh, four, so we are almost 40 pips off, <laughs> okay? Almost 40 pips off from previous. So my numbers are higher on KOT versus what I see on TradingView. So if you're going to go off of here, set an alert, bam, like this, add an alert. And then that way, you know, to get out the trade once it hits that alert. Let me set it just a little bit higher because that's like playing with fire. All right. There we go. All right. So that's what I see for the Dow Jones. Let's talk about crude oil. All right. Let's get stuff off my chart. OK, crude oil, same setup, same scenario. Nobody believed me when I said crude oil was going to hit the 800 on the week chart. But guess what? Uh, I mean, the uh, on the on the day chart, but guess what it did hit the 800 on the day chart right there. So now I'm saying crude oil is got is going to hit the 800 on the four hour chart. I mean, on the week chart. OK, and in order for it to get down there, that's sixty four dollars and forty nine cents a barrel, guys. OK, again, no one believed me when I told him it was going to drop from here and come down and until I said 74.82, I believe was my number. Let's look at it. Let's bring my chart back. Let's see if I was about right. Uh, let's go back here because that's too much. I know those lines drive people crazy, but I don't care. Those are my chart markups. Okay, so I was estimating, oh, 74.20, so 75.32. I said 74.82. 75.32 was my first goal, right? Initially for uh, crude oil. And then when I saw the day chart, I looked at what was happening here and I said, oh, we have a death cross here. And when that death cross happens, you know what happens? Price action tanks, comes down and hits the 800 and so on and so forth, right? So um, I'm looking for crude oil to decline a little bit more coming down to 6888 6886 that's my next major mark for crude oil is 7075 then 6886 next major mark for crude oil bitcoin i think bitcoin oh it's already starting i was going to say start uh, i think bitcoin is going to decline simply because we have a setup here right and it needs to close this right here so bitcoin needs to complete this move right here okay which is going to bring price action down to 
16,735. So first stop is here, 16,998. All right, 16,998. That's the first stop for Bitcoin, uh, I believe, okay, based on the 30 minute chart and the 15 minute chart. So, real, let's back up. First stop is 17,046, right? Because we got to wait for this cross to happen right here, right? Once this cross happened, price probably going to hit this, pull back, come, uh, go up like it's going to buy like a fool, and then come back down, go through here again on the um, 15 minute chart giving us the 200 on the uh, one hour chart. So that first move is going to be to the 200 on the one hour or which is equivalent the 800 on the 15 minute chart. All right, let's look at gold and see how crazy it's going to go. And let's look at the day chart. So according to the day chart, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. According to the day chart on gold, Let's see what that is. Huh. Looks like we might get some buy up action to about, let's look at regular candles. Huh. So it already closed this one here. Wow. Oh, wow. So we might get some buy up to 1856 on gold. 1856 on gold. Um, if we don't get the buy up, then the pullback will be right back down to 1767, which is roughly about 19 points away from where it is now. So we we probably will get this decline. But if you look at this 50, it's pointing straight up. I believe price is going to either pull back and bounce or just go ahead and keep running because it has the room. Look at the day chart, four hour chart, one hour chart, 30 minute chart. Now, as we go down, you notice it's set up for a sale, right? As you go down in time frame, it is set up for a sale. And I'm going to show you. This is a sale set up to the 800. This is a sale set up through one and two. This is a sale set up through one, two, three. A uh, sale set up through the same three. And four hour is giving me a buy action. So um, I believe it's going to pull back first before it does all this buy up. 1781. Let's go back. That's going to give me the 200, right? Yep. Okay. So 200 EMA, which should give me the 1781. So that's going to give me 1760 something. So probably here, 1772 or here, which is 1781. Okay. 1781. I know it's not that far away, but that's where I'm looking at. And I think overall gold is going to just pull back and then shoot up uh, for a nice potential buy for the rest of the week because the fibonacci got it at you know 20 at, at 2000 <laughs> that's that's pretty that's significantly high and of course i really don't need to cover the nas look at that see it's dropping right before your very eyes folks it's dropping right before your very eyes all right i need to get this report out here so you can get on it um that's enough for now i'm your boy chef yarnese the pip master and i am out thank you